Jay Christian Adams is a former DOJ attorney and legal editor of PJ Media. Chris, good to see you. Impeach Eric Holder. How, so because it's Eric Holder's decision about whether to appoint a, a special prosecutor in this case, he's not doing it so far. And so what's the argument? I mean, he really, he could be impeached? Well, of course, all lesser federal officials can be impeached, even people under Eric Holder. So what the argument is, is Holder's stonewalling. He actually has this investigation in the Civil Rights Division, where I used to work. Megan, this is where non-traditional civil rights cases go to die. Uh, so nothing's going to come out of that investigation. It's being conducted by an Obama donor named Barbara Bosserman at Civil Rights in the criminal section. So what Cruz is saying is, if Holder doesn't appoint a special prosecutor, he should be punished for it. There's a couple of really good lawyers left in the Justice Department, career, credible people with integrity. I know many of them. They haven't been run off yet, and they could do something about this. If let's, let's put that to the side. If they decide not to impeach Eric Holder, because it doesn't seem like that's really going anywhere. Uh, there's been lots of calls for impeachment. Nobody seems to be doing anything on it. Could you stop paying him? Some, some folks have said, why doesn't Congress just somehow stop paying him? Or stop paying a bunch of them. The power of the purse is in the Constitution. I think I talked about it on your show two years ago, and I said, look, Congress could simply find the most corrupt units, the small units inside the DOJ, inside the IRS, and quit funding them. Nothing gets funded unless the House says so. It all comes out of the House according to our Constitution. And so the power of the purse is what the founders gave Congress for this very moment. Is there any way to get a special prosecutor without Eric Holder? I mean, you know, without impeaching him, but then somehow we wind up with one anyway. No, there really isn't. The Justice Department is in charge of federal law enforcement. It's up to the Justice Department to do something as a criminal matter against the IRS abuse. Thankfully, we have people like Cleta Mitchell and True the Vote and other groups who are bringing civil cases against mm -hmm. Lois Lerner. Now, let's Actually, talk about that. Let's talk about that because Lois Lerner more and more is at the heart of this whole thing. And people want to know what Lois has to say. But she asserted her Fifth Amendment rights when she was called before Congress. And I had Daryl Issa on the program last night and I said, are you going to make her an offer of immunity? so that we can all finally hear what she has to say. He said what any good lawyer would say, which is, I'm not giving Lois Lerner immunity until she makes a proffer to me of what she would then say when placed under oath after I give her the, the immunity. And she won't do that, Chris, so they're at loggerheads. Is there any way past that? Is there any way without giving her immunity to make her talk? Well, don't forget, she's been found in contempt, so there should be a criminal referral at the Justice Department for her contempt. But she's pled, I guess, the phony Fifth Amendment and the phony scandal. And there's a whole question about whether the Fifth Amendment was actually invoked. So L Lerner obviously knows a lot. I'd love to hear the stories about the hard drive crashing simultaneously across the IRS. I'd love to know why Lois Lerner gave the FBI private tax files to try to get them to go criminally prosecute conservatives. These are things Lois Lerner did. These are things that a grand jury ought to know about. The cr and the crash came 10 days after the IRS was put on notice uh, that there was an investigation and they had questions about the targeting. Jay Christian Adams, good to see you.